Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about a uh, Newton method uh, for optimization. Newton method has uh, two applications, one for finding a zero of a function in roots and the other one is for finding the uh, minimum or maximum of a function. So uh, you can imagine uh, if you find the roots for a function derivative then uh, you find the uh, mean or max of a function. Okay, let's uh, review what uh, we had before. So we had a uh, gradient descent. Uh, we start from a point, and then uh, the next point gonna be uh, some coefficient alpha, which is a step size multiplied by gradient of the function on that given point, which gives us the next point. If you don't know how do we get this <coughs> and why this is not uh, pointing to a, a, a steepest uh, descent, so uh, please have a look at my other video where I explain where do we exactly get this. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the Taylor series, uh, the approximation for a function. Uh, now we only use the first order and we uh, omit the higher order. So uh, an approximation of a function by a uh, line and is the value of the function on that point multiplied by x minus a multiplied by derivative of the function. So I have this uh, function here. I uh, approximate it uh, with this uh, line, as you can see in this vicinity, around A, they're almost equal, but as we get uh, away from that, uh, it became worse. But uh, uh, we uh, can, as I said, we approximate it by this line, so the, the point that uh, the line gets zero, the function also gets zero, which is, you can see, they're a little bit far away. <coughs> uh, but it gets close to, to the zero point. So if I set the, uh, <coughs> if I find the zero for a uh, line, means that I just set this first order Taylor approximation to zero, uh, I will get x as this, if a, a value of the function on that point over the derivative. So <coughs> a was a start point, and uh, this, is, this x is my new point. So if I uh, start again, draw a derivative on this point, which is going to be something like uh, this. So as you can see, I'm getting closer and closer to the uh, point zero. So it's an iterative approach, and uh, the next point always going to be previous point minus uh, this. And if you want to find the uh, mean or max of a function, uh, you can imagine uh, compute the derivative, set the derivative to zero, and doing the same. So uh, intuitively, here should be f prime because now our function is f prime, and here should be the uh, derivative of f prime, which is going to be a uh, second order derivative. So this should be a uh, form like this. And uh, if our function is, uh, uh, if the input uh, or x has nd data, has, uh, has n dimensions, it's going to be, uh, instead of second order uh, function, we have Haitian, and here we have a gradient. So uh, the next point going to be uh, some arbitrary point minus uh, inverse of Haitian on that point multiplied by a uh, gradient. Okay, so uh, let's uh, find uh, this formula. Uh, if I approximate my function by... Uh, second order uh, Taylor series. I have value of the function on that point or uh, you know, fa plus uh, a gradient of the function multiplied by x minus a plus, uh, sorry there's a plus here, plus 1 over 2 x minus a transpose Haitian uh, x minus uh, a uh, this is second order derivative. Uh, uh, okay, let's uh, uh, expand uh, what we have here. Uh, okay, here we have a number, so everything which is on the other side also should be on also number. Uh, and you know that the transpose of a number is always equal to itself. And uh, we know that the Haitian is always. Uh, equal to its transpose and we simply investigate it, uh, write it down the uh, Haitian matrix and then uh, <coughs> to compute the transpose. So uh, 
if I multiply x transpose h x I will get this minus a transpose h x x transpose uh, h a plus uh, a transpose h a okay so <coughs> uh, I keep this and this and uh, because every single uh, uh, element is a number I can just simply uh, put the transpose of that so I transpose uh, uh, this guy uh, x transpose h a and uh, as I said h is equal to its transpose so a transpose h transpose x which is exactly what we have here so we have two of them and this will be cancelled by 1 over uh, 2 okay so I call our new function uh, q of x which is the approximation of f of x and it's in the form of a quadratic uh, uh, so I have 1 over 2 x th you can see here uh, this value and I have some uh, uh, x so second order uh, x plus some uh, uh, first order or without any uh, power uh, x here plus some fixed numbers okay and uh, b is equal j minus h a this is pretty easy to investigate if you have a look at uh, if you have a look at uh, this formula and uh, you have uh, some value for uh, x here a transpose h and also something here j transpose and if you just uh, wrap it uh, and name it b you have j minus h a okay let's set, set the derivative to zero and see what we get so uh, just a quick review if you have uh, x transpose a x if you take a derivative relative to x uh, the derivative is x transpose a plus a transpose and uh, it's a little bit lengthy but you can uh, to prove it you can just uh, write the definition of matrix multiplication and then just compute it and then uh, put it in a matrix form again and you will see this also the derivative of x transpose a is equal to a transpose x which is uh, a transpose okay so let's take a derivative of this so 1 over 2 x t uh, h plus h transpose plus uh, b transpose I just use these two uh, for computing the derivative of uh, matrices I set it to a zero and as I said because this is a, a number I can just get the transpose of that every number transpose equal to itself <coughs> so I uh, compute the transpose which is giving me h x plus b I set, I set it to zero so the x gonna be uh, minus sorry uh, h inverse multiplied by minus b sorry for bad notation I always make a mistake here uh, so x is equal to h trans uh, h inverse multiplied by b and b is uh, g minus h multiplied by a I just plug the b here and I just uh, multiply h by this so x gonna be minus h inverse g plus a and what is g? g uh, is a gradient and h the Haitian so our new point a was a point that we uh, started uh, or approximate the function so x new point gonna be a uh, previous point minus h so a is xn uh, inverse of uh, hn multiple by g which is gradient of the function this is exactly what uh, uh, we had here and as I said we can intuitively see that but we can also write down equation and uh, see it for ourselves that uh, this is actually what we have for uh, uh, ND data. Thank you.